Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to our wonderful war here in Shen Salvador, where we have declared war on France. Our ally Britain is dominating the seas. Unfortunately, uh, he's kind of a moron on land. He lost this stack of troops here. He lost 25,000 troops and five war score. God damn it, Britain. Anyway, we're winning the war so far because we have ticking war score from Ivory Coast being sieged down. We're going to get another 15 points of war score for that province as the score ticks up. Um, I'm going to grab this army right here and we're going to go... I'm tempted to go drop off troops in southern Italy or southern southern Spain, but that seems like a, a bit early. If I do it too soon, he's going to just kick me out. Perhaps the idea is we should go to Grenade. <laughs> Perhaps the idea is we should go to Grenade where it's mountains and I, there are some river crossings. In fact, is it every province has a river crossing? Jaén, Almer, Porto, Sevilla, and Cadiz. Yeah, every province except Grenada is a river. It'd be nice if just mousing over this would show you the rivers, so you'd see like all these, you know, certain provinces have river and this one doesn't. It doesn't tell you that. So yeah, if we go to this province, yeah, then we can um, pretty much expect him to cross a river into the mountains to come fight us. And then we can sort of bring troops as backup. That sounds like a good plan. But first things first, we've got to get our troops up there close enough to reinforce each other. We just pieced out with Congo where we took all of his land, which cost us, you know, a couple hundred Diplo. So we're now negative 200 Diplo. That's fun. Get on the boat, you scrub. And get up here. Go dump some troops off, then we'll go pick up some more. Oh, we have a lazy colonist. All right, well, let's go grab this. So we talked about what kind of peace deals we want to do with France. And there's a lot of fantasy peace deals out there like, oh, let's get a 100 war score and let's cut them in half and let's do all this shit. And it's like, oh my God, a 355. There's a lot of things that we might be able to do. And there's a lot of things that we probably won't be able to do. So don't get your hopes too far up. I don't need the tech guy right now because there's just no way we're going to tech up for a while. So what kind of guy do we want instead of tech? Maybe discipline plus 5%. That sounds pretty good. Or shock, land leader shock. Hmm. I'll take the discipline. They're both good though. Land leader shock only applies if you create new generals. And I haven't created a new general yet. So, eh, we'll see. All right, Diplomat's coming back from Manchu. We're still trying to peacefully vassalize Manchu here. And I'm confident we can do it. But we need to get his relations up. Let's see, receiving subsidies plus 12. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll almost be done for it. As soon as we get him up to plus 20... No, it stops at plus 15, doesn't it? All right, take his trade power. Much as we can get. Okay, there we go. Then we can send him a gift and that'll be it. Let's go vassalize him. So the plan that Twitch chat came up with that I think will work is to take a province from France, just one, just one here in Spain and release Castile as a vassal. That's the plan. I like that plan. I think it'll work. It's a disgusting plan <laughs> and it'll work. But we got to actually be able to hold a couple provinces there so we can release Castile. Like even if it's just Grenade, even if this is the only one we take, that's fine. Grenade is fine. It's got salt. I love salt. All we need is that one province. All right, where where is another army that I can steal? Um, I mean, this is what fifty? It's like sixty-five thousand troops, whereas France has more than that. France has seventy-one thousand, so I could, I guess, I could drop sixty-five thousand over. That's better than nothing. Uh, I'd rather be. I'd feel safer if I had another stack, though. Where's my other stacks? Four uh, K. Random 4k. So you're sieging. You're chilling in Congo. Okay, I guess the only other one I have is here. And I might as well go pick it up. Since we're not going to war with Ming right now. Focused on France right now. Let's go pick up this army in Ming. God, that's a long way to walk. That is a long way to walk. Alright, give Manchu a gift. And become my vassal, you little bitch.
That's right. What the fuck? Wait, what? What is going on? Oh. The Netherlands just spawned as a one province miner. Wow. Out of all the places they could have spawned, they spawned in... in Calais. Oh, all right. Unexpected, but all right. Completely unexpected. And Netherlands is going to get full next year by Flanders. Great. <laughs> it didn't last too long, did they? Not really. Alright, let's go vassalize Manchu. You ready, Manchu? You ready? You ready to be my bitch? There you go. You're my bitch. Yay! Now we need to cancel subsidies. So what's nice about having him as a vassal is we can feed him some, some serious clay over here. Colonies are finishing. Uh, where did they finish? Kumiye. Okay, core that. And Nakipa. Core that. Didn't give me an extra colonist back. Alright, so let's steal some colonists out of Banjar and Kalusa. That's that's not Kalusa. There we go. Steal. And let's go send them somewhere else, like along the coast here. Send one there. And send another one here. Okay, good. Now, the unfortunate thing is it's going to take us a long time to go to Asia and come back. Yep, Netherlands are dead. It's going to take us a long time to go to Asia and come back, but we need that army. Let's get trust up over here. We need that army. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a war of attrition. He's already at low enthusiasm. That's nice. That's real nice. Yeah, Britain's doing some blockades. That'll help a little bit. All right, cancel subsidies. Give me my ducats back. Keta has westernized off of us. Okay, good for you, Keta. All right, we should have Tlemcen soon. Probably get access to Morocco. No, Morocco hates me. I was going to say, maybe he'll give me access so I can walk back and forth. Oh, he will. Even though he hates me, he'll still give me access. Well, that's awfully nice of you. Alright, Slimson's down. Navy's about halfway there. Tunis has collapsed, but he didn't lose any land. I always hate when I see that. It says, Tunis is broken. Tunis has collapsed. Didn't lose any land. Nothing. He's the exact same as he was before. <laughs> okay, so it's not just France's 71k. There's another 18k from it. So it's about 100,000 troops. It's not just France. Oh, what's this? The fuck? Who's go separatist? I have no army down here. Okay, uh, well, what are they? Just soldiers, one cannon. All right. Tell you what. I'll take you out with eight troops, okay? I mean, I don't care if Cusco spawns down here in Abanque, but I don't want him to take my land. Oh, 
Ottomans are attacking the knights. That's fun. French peasants in Luanda. Holy shit, 24,000, huh? I should be able to take that on. I think. Yeah, I can take that on. All right, he's going to Cuero, which is good because it's jungle. It's not like mountains or anything. Tangiers has fallen. Very nice. Chumash is done. Court. Uh, has our ships arrived yet? No, they're almost there. Okay, good. Finally. That is such a long journey. Wow. Did we take any attrition on the journey? Oh, we took like 4% attrition. All right. So you're going to sail here to Melilla. And when he arrives, we're going to start flooding France with troops. It's going to be D-Day from the south instead of the north. Okay, can we win that battle? Oh, where did he go? Oh, he teleported. Where did he teleport to? I don't know. French peasant rebels have teleported somewhere. They might have gone to one of the islands. So I don't see them sieging anywhere. Yeah, they teleported to one of the islands. Unless they're over here? Nope, don't see them. Because they were right here. Oh, we fought them. Oh, we fought them. Okay, we did fight them. We killed them. 20 war score, not bad. Songhai Separatists. Okay, well, we're going to need that stack in Africa to stay in Africa then. Oh, Commonwealth rivaled me again. Damn it. Fucking Commonwealth. Can't trust you with nothing, man. Oh, there's a fort there. Okay. I guess I can attack without a general. Mm, yeah, we should be able to win this. Yeah. Okay, good. And the King of Great Britain died. That's sad. Ooh, that's a really good Regency. A 3-5-4 Regency. Wow. I wish I got Regencies like that. Alright, we do have Diplomats. Let's see if France is willing to white peace. He is. What about give me land? He is. Okay. So he's at the point where he just doesn't want this war anymore. And that's good for us. Okay, he won't give me that though. Why not? Oh, because I haven't occupied this fort. Well, I will. There's no forts here. No forts. No forts. Just take all of his colonies. All of it. Okay, so he draws the line when we go over the war score. Alright, well, maybe we won't take any of that stuff. I'm really, really, really thinking about just taking one province here and giving it to a vassal. I think that would be worthwhile. Base tax in Banjar or Prestige? I'll take the Prestige, actually, because we're a little low. Yeah, morale of armies goes up with higher Prestige. So it makes sense to get Prestige sometimes, especially if you're at war. 36 war score, huh? Such a long way to sail. Uh, get rid of these mercs. Keep on building, I guess. When can we build this? Local tax, 60%. Tech, 19. Okay. Well, we've got universities in the provinces where we want them. I guess we could focus on provinces with gold. Provinces with gold. Because we're going to be developing those provinces for sure. Even if it's just a little, right? All right, save some cash. Yeah, once our inflation's under control, we're just going to go nuts with gold provinces. Islands in the Indian Ocean. I think he only had the one. Or the two, yeah. No, I had those selected. I had those selected. Thank you, though.
still an exing Jolof. And he's pretty happy. I guess I can get a marriage with him. Why not? What's our current mission? Reduce overextension. We're working on it. God, sail faster, damn it. Need to finish the Suez Canal already. Holy shit. What lazy fucker owns this? The Ottomans? Oh, wow. Look at that. Sweden just took so much land from Russia. Oh, my God. Sweden just took so much land from Russia. And Russia's filled with rebels. Wow. Rip Russia. All right. How are we looking at France? France is down to 67,000 troops. I think he fought those peasant rebels. I think what happened is the peasant rebels teleported home to France. And then he fought them. Okay, we're about to get Rebels Songhai. So let's see if I can increase autonomy or something to get rid of them. Um, not really. Not really. Okay, so let's get these troops up there. Because that's where they're going to spawn, right there. They're at 90%. Where are my ships? Sail faster. And if I'm taking these provinces here, I should definitely colonize Gabon. So I can walk back and forth. But, eh, if we dominate the seas, being able to walk back and forth isn't quite as amazingly necessary. Oh, wow, they spawned awfully early. Um, all right. Should still be okay. How's our income, by the way? 240, we're, wow, we're almost halfway to our target. 500 is the target. We're almost halfway there. All right. So now we're going to be begin the invasion of southern France here. Oh, Brazil's going for independence again. Good luck, Brazil. I helped you all I could the first time and you fucked it up. So this time, maybe you won't fuck it up. I have to get an alliance with him after the war. Yeah, he wants an alliance. Okay, good thing my little stack of 18 can handle a giant rebel stack. Ming is westernizing off of us. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. This could be what causes him... He lost the um, Mandate of Heaven, right? No, he still has it. How does he still have the Mandate of Heaven? What? 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 I thought if he was westernizing, he automatically loses the Mandate of Heaven. No, he still has it. And he's a lucky nation, of course. I don't understand. How is he keeping the Mandate of Heaven and westernizing? And also, where are we... Oh, fuck. Britain... No, Britain! Britain keeps dropping troops off in Calais and getting crushed. Britain is going to single-handedly lose us this war. He keeps dropping troops off in Calais, and every single time he gets crushed. Can you just tell your ally to stop being a fucking retard? Is that possible? He's being a retard. God damn it, Britain. All right, let's drop some troops off. Wait, what the fuck? Where's my army? Oh, all right. Finish the siege. God damn it, Britain. God damn it, Britain. Can't take you anywhere. What a useless ally. All right, to Grenade. Grenade. We got a spare colonist. All right. Let's grab, let's grab this. Gabon. Okay, France has troops in Calais, that's fine. Not Calais, um, Co. No, not Co. Cadiz. One of those sea provinces, right? Okay, let's get rid of our access to Morocco. Oh, we got the walls breached already. Nice. I'm not even blockading them.
slowly getting the west coast of North America locked up. Not quite there yet. Okay, cancel access in Morocco. Don't need it. Wasted relationship slot. Okay. Now, will he attack me straight off the bat? No. Interesting. It's a mountain province, so I'm not super surprised, but I don't have a general. I don't know. I would probably attack. Hey, we finished our mission to reduce overextension. What's next? Conquer Aban K. Protect against the Commonwealth, create a fleet. Maybe 112 soldiers. So I just make one soldier. Make one soldier. Okay. I'll make five. Take that game. Hey, we finished our mission. That was fun. Uh, creatively, I guess conquer Aban K. Where is Aban K? Oh, down here, huh? Um, sure, whatever. It's an easy mission. Oh, Morocco is attacking Portugal. Go Morocco. <laughs> you can do it, Morocco. Hey, we got grenade. Fantastic. Now, do I want to venture out from Grenade? Uh, check the simple terrain. No. These three provinces all have mountains. They are very defensible. The rest of the provinces, not so much. So if we're going to fight, it's going to be on my terms. It's going to be here in the mountains, on defense. The other option is we could come up here to the Pyrenees. There's some mountain provinces here. Oh, well, just one? Okay, there's one mountain province here. Let me get access in Aragon. That will let me walk through these mountains as well. Uh, let's see, he's getting sieged by Austria. I don't really want to split up my troops here. Like, even sieging Mercia is just a total crapshoot. I don't know if I want to do that. I'd rather have him attack us, to be honest. Yeah, I know we're taking attrition there, but it's worth it. Hey, Deimos. What's up, kitty cat? Let's see if we can find France's navy somewhere and sink it. And we're not even using our navy right now. Immigration, huh? It'd be really nice to get Venice out of the war as well. So far, he's not interested, though. Yeah. He's going to have to go to low enthusiasm, which will just take time. Kazan got independence from Russia. Yep, so Russia's pretty much dead. Perm's going to get independent. Kazan's getting independent. He'll probably get Golden Horde rebels independent as well. Russia's just dead. He's fucking dead. I mean, it's nice to blockade them and all, but I'd rather... Oh, what's this? Give land to Portugal, give land to Morocco, release Galicia as a sovereign state. It's not what I declared for. I declared for your colonies, and you're offering to give land back to some people that I don't give a shit about? How does that make sense? Why don't you offer me a peace deal based on the war that I declared? How about that? I don't see his navy. Where is his fucking navy? I've got Max... Wait, did Britain peace out? Fucking Britain peaced out. Look at all this. Look at all this shitty negative 5 war score, negative 5 war score, negative 4.8, negative 4.6. All this is all Britain. All of it. Fuck me. Negative 15 war score from Britain being a stupid dumbass. Why did I even call him in? I don't know. Well, hopefully his navy will show up. Oh, hello. Is he going to the New World or something? Where's he going? Are we out of time? Ah, oh, shit. 
Oh, there he is. I see you. Celtic Sea, huh? All right, why don't we call this an episode? We'll come back next time to see if we can't chase down some of France's navy and sink it. Yeah, there, there's his two heavies. I would love to sink that fleet. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.